Good day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today I've got the Cloud Peak 2 strapped to the back and we've got some cooler weather down to between 5 and 7 degrees centigrade and rain for most of the night and into mid morning tomorrow. So good time to test the tent out. While editing the last video about the Cloud Peak 2 the other week, I noticed a couple of things that could have been done different. If you've seen it, yeah, I should have pegged it out first, it would have made it a lot easier. Uh, there's another um, point I made about the bungee could do with being shorter. Like I said, after looking at the video when I was editing it, I've noticed another way to make that peak on the top fit better. So we'll give that a go tonight and see how it goes. We've made it to camp. There's a few people here and one chap with his uh, young lad with him. So we're just heading over to the pitch and we'll get the tent put up. Okay, we're at the normal spot. So we'll just give it a cleaner up. Now the last time I put this tent up, I left the footprint of the ground sheet connected. So Let's get this one out and get it up ready. Uh, the peak at the bottom. Now there's a thing I was showing you with the peak. That's what I said on the way. I think it might help making it a little bit better fitting. Already it's easier without having to mess around with the footprint. So having that footprint connected is a smart move of them enabling that. Round. Try that spot. That's better. Now the diagonal corner. <coughs> Hmm. 
<coughs> now pole number one. I can't remember if I press the record button. So start from this end, <coughs> put in the grommet, and then connect the first two clips. One, two. <coughs> now down to the other end. So with the first pole and the corners pegged out, it's holding itself up, which has made it a lot easier. Now the third pole, which goes from the vestibule to vestibule, they recommend you put it underneath these two poles. You know, picking the corners out first, it's made it a lot easier and quicker to get this up.
دو شمه Now the peak that goes on top. worked. Now these flaps, people say become flat and loose and we're actually pulling these cords, bungee cords, straight down. We did, I did have one which was loose but what I've done as you can probably see with this is I need to turn that one around the opposite way So we'll go around that way, one, sorry, missed the camera, twice, and I'll bring it down a third time, and one-handed, did it. And now what's that done is pulled that one underneath here, which has made that a little bit tighter, and made that tighter too, so it's not so flappy. Where before, that was there, and it was all loose. And now the tension, we're pulling it around the hole there it's made the peak nice and firm and same here so I could be a little bit tighter I'll do one more turn on here and I should pull it a little bit more one-handed sorry about that so now that's it nice and taut all the way, all the way around so shortening the cords I don't think it's going to make much difference. It's actually wrapping them around, pulls the peak under and the top of it under with it as well. So it's tightening that up and there we'll put the same time as doing that. So, yeah, this one needs one more turn to hold it and it'll be done. Better.
Okay, the rain has just started. Just been sat out having a chat to other campers here. A young fella, five years old, out with his poppy. Well, my head, young man, you really enjoying it? I've got the tag off the lights hanging in front of my face. Now, I've only pegged this out at the main six points, the four corners, and the two vestibules. And it seems to be pretty stable. I'm sat here with my feet sticking out the door in the vestibule. So plenty of space to stretch out if I need to before I take my boots off. Plenty of room out there to store gear. I've got my walking pole out there at the moment. Don't need to bring that in. I've got my pack at the bottom there. I don't know if you can see. There's my pack at the bottom. My bed. Back around the other side, there's the top of the bed. Torch I'm using, sorry, too bright. There's my pocket, my glasses will go in there shortly. Yeah, let's see how it goes for the night. Just nice sitting here listening to the rain. See you in a while. morning. Rains from about 8 o'clock till 1 o'clock this morning. No condensation on the tent on the outside. A spacious tents laying like this. Seen all the Oh, <laughs> you're the headroom. Just listening to the, the birds and the cockies. I could lay all day listening to that. Yeah, it's very, you could tell it was cold, but it didn't feel cold in here. That cockapoe is going now. See where there's a little puddle. There's a small one that's sitting on the peak. Let's see if I can show you. A little puddle sitting on the peak on the top there. I'll lay here for a little while longer. I think it's about 5.30. I'll get up and make myself a copper.
Okay, let's have a look while it's wet. So a lot of people have said they get stretching. That's the tension you can see in the door. I don't have the tires at the bottom on any point, only the six points like I said earlier of where the poles go to. So for the beading. That just runs down. I don't know if you can see that. Very little stretch if any. Same on this side. Quite impressed. No issues with this. Had a great night's sleep in it. Right, let's go make my copper. So how did the cloud peak two go? First of all, I only pegged it out with six pegs, which were the four main points where the poles went down to the tent body and the two vestibules. I didn't attach any of the other lower peg out points. I uh, didn't connect any of the guy ropes either, so it was just the six pegs. And when it went up that way, we were pegging it out first and then installing the poles. It was a lot easier than doing it without being pegged out when installing the poles. So there's a tip. So if it's going to be your first time and you want to attach the ground sheet, what I'd recommend is lay the ground sheet out and then lay the main tent on it, making sure you get it the right way around because the foot end of the tent is a little smaller than the head end so your ground sheet is the same as that but lay your tent over the top once you've got it the right way around and attach the ground sheet to it as you peg the corners out that's going to be a lot easier than putting all the poles in, lifting it up on its side, putting the ground sheet on and laying it back down and getting the chance of all grit and dirt over your tent. First one. Rain. It rained from 8 o'clock last night to just past midnight and then again this morning after I got up so I had to wait a little longer for it to dry out on the outside. No leaks. The tent handled it great. It was fantastic listening to the rain hit the tent. The little peak on top let no water in at all. So that's protected from the rain, your two air vents on the top. In the morning, when I got up and checked, it was still talked. There was very little stretching, if any, from the rain. So that was a good thing. The rain beaded nice and easy on it, and as tapping it, the rain beads just fell down. On one panel, it seemed to have soaked in a bit, but no water had come through to the inside. So nylon does absorb some water, so there's no problem there because all the beads, as I was tapping it on top of that, was just running straight off. Uh, what else have we got there? Let me think. The condensation. Now, a group of people walking by, going the opposite direction on the track. Condensation. Now, with the solid panels up the side of the actual inner tent, there was zero condensation on the outer fly level with that. Zero condensation. And from that point up, it was a very fine condensation. It's a matter of you wipe it with your hands and your hand's going to take it all off there and there's nothing left on the fly. Minimal type of condensation. So I'm impressed with that. That was, that was pleasant to see. Now if you don't mind carrying the weight, would this be a tent for you? <laughs> I think so. It's, it, I'll tell you what it's going to be for me. It's going to be my one where at times I'm going to bring it out if I'm going to take, test any gear. I may use this one at winter, but I've got a couple more tents to go through to decide which I'm going to choose for me. But this is a good tent. That's all I can say. I liked it. I think it's good. And 
if you get one in the future and you agree let me know down in the comments so I hope this video has been good and you've enjoyed it and got something from it and if you have and you're not already a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to that and select all so you can be notified of all upcoming videos and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much and all of you like the video